And now a moment with Dr. Stephen M. Stahl, unipolar versus bipolar depression. How do you tell the difference between unipolar depression and bipolar depression? Actually, the patient in front of you will look by and large the same in many, many cases, whether they're unipolar or bipolar. So one of the ways you can't tell very well is by their current symptoms. You have to take a history. And the best way to get the history is basically I say, who's your daddy and where's your mama? Who's your daddy? How about some family history? Did someone in your family have unipolar or bipolar depression? That gives you a hint. The next question would be, where's your mama? The reason for that is that I need to get your history before you came to my office. And although I can get it from you and will, guess what? People tend to tell you a lot about their depressions and not so much about their manias and hypomanias. Partly they like them, partly they lack insight, partly they're embarrassed by them. So when I say, where's your mama? I want to get your mother in there or your wife or your usually some woman in your life who's a good historian because women are very in, uh, you know, intuitive. They tend to make 90% of healthcare decisions. And so if you get an important uh, first degree relative or someone in the, in the person's life that can tell you what they were like in the past, this will tell you because the current episode of bipolar depression can look very much like a unipolar episode. However, they've been manic, hypomanic, or mixed in the past. And to get really good evidence for that, you need to ask somebody else. Unipolar and bipolar depression is a very important distinction to make because the treatments are really fairly different. For example, antidepressants treat unipolar depression, but mood stabilizers such as lithium and certain anticonvulsants and various atypical antipsychotics treat bipolar depression. There is certainly overlap between the two, and we've now seen that some of the antipsychotics can treat unipolar depression, and the question is whether some of the antidepressants can treat bipolar depression. Be careful. There's a controversy out there. Some people say antidepressants don't work for bipolar depression. Some people say that antidepressants will make you manic or flip you essentially into a hypomanic or manic episodes. And some people say that antidepressants might work for a while and then cause you to cycle more frequently than you would have otherwise. What the truth is, is still a major controversy, but what most of us are doing now is an antidepressant sparing strategy in bipolar depression. Use it last. Uh, some people say never use an antidepressant. Others say be cautious. I will use it after I've exhausted lithium, anticonvulsants, and atypical antipsychotics, and the patient either can't tolerate them or they don't work. Then I might add an antidepressant, but I'll try to do it reluctantly and short term because if the patient gets better, unlike in unipolar depression where you keep it going, in bipolar depression I'm going to probably take it off fairly quickly because I'm worried that it might flip them into mania or that it might make them cycle down into another depressive episode faster than otherwise. So there's a lot of controversy about it today, but I think that uh, I just summed up how uh, we're doing it now. It's a bit of an art rather than a science.